He knew he had figured out about the camera. Juliet, don't make it too obvious. Ooh, bacon. Greetings, Tasty Morsels. Today we're watching Silo, episode 7 of the first season. This episode is entitled The Flame Keepers. I'm pretty sure that the uh, title refers to the strange people we saw in the strange room full of uh, closed circuit TV cameras, or well, monitors, I should say, at the end of episode six, who were watching in increasing alarm <laughs> as uh, Juliet went through a uh, magazine or book that she had gotten from um, Georgia's previous lady love, detailing, I believe, um, different sites in the state of Georgia. It's the fabled lost city of Atlanta. Howdy, y'all. Showing what life outside the silo either used to be or maybe even potentially still is. And they uh, talked about how they really needed to let him know what they were seeing. I'm assuming that the him in question is Sims, who seems to possibly be one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful person in the silo. I'm very curious as to what it all means and how they are going to deal with Juliet having discovered this information. I was thinking that it's uh, entirely possible that they will attempt to bring her into the fold because I'm guessing these folks have um, some pretty significant reasons, at least in their own minds, some good reasons for what they're doing. I'm curious to find out what those reasons are. A lot of interesting stuff in the that previous episode, more little nuggets of information to try to figure out. Relics are constantly being found. So either people, when they first built the silo, brought in a ton of stuff with them that was then declared forbidden for some reason, or the mines lead to somewhere that has access to a lot of material left over from whatever, you know, the, our civilization. We still have no way of knowing how far into the future the silo is, is you know, the, the world of the silo is. They think it's been about a hundred years since a cataclysm, but we don't know how long it was from the fall of civilization to the cataclysm. But I think we can guess at a few things. Uh, for one thing, they found a camcorder Obviously, it doesn't use magnetic media anymore. It uses, I'm pretty sure that type of camcorder uses solid state drives rather than, you know, tapes. But I'm pretty sure that the, the, the that material still only has an expected life of about like 60 or 70 years maximum. So, assuming that it was kept somewhere that retarded its, its uh, deterioration somewhat, I would still expect that that camcorder wouldn't have been able to last intact for more than 100 years. So we probably are looking at a, a maximum time window of about 200 years from now to the time frame that the that silo takes place in. We discovered that a uh, technology that allows you to see smaller than a certain point is forbidden. Seems like somewhere around the level of microcircuitry, possibly microbiology, you're not allowed to look at. I am including those both together because I'm getting a, an increasing suspicion that things going on in a silo involve secrets relative to both computing, uh, like high level computing and genetic engineering. <laughs> I have like a fringe theory developing in my head that, that the people in the silo are not entirely human or at least not entirely, you know, modern baseline humans, that they may be some sort of... Um, biomechanical um, constructs who have then received programming essentially and, have been, and then were set into the society that was made for them. Yeah, so, anyway, soups. I definitely think, regardless of whether that's true, that there's essentially almost kind of like a uh, vault tech type fallout universe experiment going on with the people in the silo that maybe got out of hand or maybe was developed after whatever cataclysm happened or maybe there never was a cataclysm and they're just being experimented on. I'm also starting to entertain the possibility, I wasn't thinking about it last episode, but it just occurred to me that I should also entertain the possibility that Silo isn't even taking place on Earth. Huh? 
<laughs> it's entirely possible that this is a uh, alien zoo situation. The silo could have been made by another form of intelligence to house humans either for experimentation, for monitoring, maybe even for preservation. Maybe there really was a cataclysm and some aliens managed to save a certain number of people and are keeping them in the dark. Maybe it's a situation where AI that we built did the same thing. There was a cataclysm and it tried to save as many humans as it can and just sort of concocted this, you know, a bunch of lies to keep people from realizing just how screwed they are until things can get better. I don't know. There's so many different possibilities. We still have the questions of who killed Mayor Johns. We now know who killed um, Deputy Marnes. Who killed George? We still don't know that and what ties it all together as to why they were killed. It's looking more and more like it's got to be Sims who's ultimately responsible for their deaths, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I have a lot of different people that I suspect for different things right now. I haven't let Martha off the hook as a suspect for possibly having poisoned Mayor Johns when she gave her tea. We still have a lot of uh, questions that we need answered. The janitorial closet, which I have a feeling this episode is really gonna be about, is our hatch from loss. This is gonna be the moment that cracks the mystery open to the next level, so to speak. Interesting. This looks like a memory that someone should not be able to have. Simulation? This uh, spiral motif keeps reappearing in this show. Coriolis. I believe that's what that's called. Is this someone that was sent outside? Oh, okay, I was about to say, this is uh, her mother. Incorrect. What the fuck? She's not dead. I thought she was dead. She's in a mental hospital. I have to go back. <sighs> you can't concoct a delusion out of information you don't have. So she had to have seen that image. What kind of drug is that? It's being injected directly into the muscle. Oh my God, Juliet probably doesn't even know her mother's still alive. It, it, this image right here. So did her mother have access to this book at some point? Well, at least we now have the answer though that her mom was not sent out to clean. So George's other relatives, Gloria and Anne, I'm assuming are siblings. And now we know the people who've been watching her would have known she's had George's file too this entire time. Where are you gonna hide that? I mean, I'm not sure there's anywhere you can hide it now considering that, well, she doesn't know, but there are people watching you all the time, all through the mirror. Should we send someone? Yep, there he is. I knew it. No, please. I'll deal with this myself. I am pulling an all-nighter right now because I'm binge-watching the rest of this freaking season. I need to know what the hell is going on. Morning. How's the baby? She's good. I think you two are on the same side. You just need to realize it. Ah, the eyes. Maintenance. I was, you know, I was thinking about it, just like the whole thing with uh, Sims and his dad, the janitor. You think about it, who are the people best suited Can I help you? for yeah, secretly for, running uh, for Hildebrand. She here? an entire I'm sorry, I'm city? Not authorized you know what I mean? Information. The people who are everywhere without anyone really noticing them, fixing everything. Man, she is tinier than I thought she was. <laughs> Pervert. You should ask to be left alone with her, unless uh, there's a reason why you can't be, like she's dangerous but she does not appear to be. You can't, there's an order to keep her here. By who? Judge Meadows. Interesting. Judge Meadows had her committed. I'd like to report a crime. My husband forgot his lunch this morning. <laughs> I'll make sure he's apprehended, ma'am. Oh, they're really trying hard to make us care about Billings, which means they're gonna hurt him. They're gonna hurt him or they're gonna hurt his family or both. I could use a break. You want a coffee? Always. Interesting, where are they growing coffee? Coffee is a notoriously difficult thing to grow. It grows only in very sheriff, specific climates and such. You can't keep doing that, Juliet. She's out sick with a cold. Yeah, a cold. What's going on down in 26? A riot, sounds like. <laughs> oh, the one extra who's like not even trying to look like anything serious. She's just having fun being there. <laughs> The only thing that kept that from being much worse is that the people in this place clearly have a very strong respect 
for the authorities. Because that guy, the minute he realized that he had hit a sheriff, his whole demeanor changed. Where the hell are you? What's happening? If you hadn't turned off your radio, you wouldn't have to ask. Seriously, way to fuck up, sheriff. You're asking me to look the other way as you pull on a thread that's connected to four murders and two cleanings? Yes! Don't have him look the other way. Have him help you. Juliet, have him help you. This man is a good man. Do you know where Meadows lives? Level 15. Manager's row. If you want to get in her good graces, she has breakfast delivered every morning. She likes bacon and eggs. Who the hell doesn't like bacon and eggs? I'll tell you who. People who have never had bacon and eggs. Or who've had it from somebody who doesn't know how to make it. Because badly made bacon will put you off of bacon. Sounds like a crime to me. You work night tea? Mm -hmm. He's seeming even more like a plant. Because if I was trying to get in with her to spy on her, I think a psychological profile of her would lead me to choose someone like him. Look. Reminds her of George, reminds her of her mother, uh, from what we've learned about her mother so far. I think. That's the Big Dipper. I saw a light move across the sky and then disappear. Figured he'd bring that up at some point. You know, shooting star. Really? Just gonna... Move right in, just like that, huh? Niecto Gamma! It's okay, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have, um... Both of them are a little socially awkward. I'm more suspicious of him now, though. Dude, are you a plant? Were you sent there by Judicial to, uh... Oh, crap. She's got constellations in there. This also gives us a limit to how far in the future they can be, though. We know they can't be really, really far into the future, you know what I mean? Because constellations wouldn't be the same. Again, assuming that they're actually on Earth and that what they see through the screens has any relationship to what's actually outside at all. If I were making a simulation for humans, I would probably program <laughs> Earth constellations into it. Is this like a ritual of some kind, or is this just for funsies? And she arrests them for littering. A violation of the pact. <laughs> I wonder if that made her think about going to visit her dad. Sheriff, I know it's not your inclination, but I need you to listen. <laughs> Have a seat. True, it really is not her inclination. She just powers forward. I was informed that Judge Meadows was not pleased with my intervention on your behalf. She sent Sims with a warning that if I were to obstruct her efforts again, she would use some contortion of the pact to remove me. What game are you playing, Bernard? We need to find something that we can use to wall her in. What game are you playing, bro? Because this could also be you trying to consolidate absolute power. Is that a relic? It looks like an Etch-A-Sketch. Tell me why you're keeping Gloria Hildebrandt captive and medical. Who? The fertility counselor. I didn't recognize her. Man, the face blindness is real. Let me take Gloria out of medical for a few hours, and then I'll be back down in mechanical before you know it. It's not possible. Of course it is. You lift the order. I can't. You're the judge. Don't you get what she's saying to you? Who will not let me? What do you mean? Who are they? She's already said too much. There are people more Is powerful than works? her. Is she being forced to poison herself? No wonder you're staying here drinking your cold medicine. You don't know anything about me. Now get out! You have to find the real power. Stop. Oh, that was well done. I really like that. These are the most powerful people in the silo. Look at their- have those been there? Look at the UI. Sorry, sir. We'll send someone in. Look at the UI. Their computer system is way more advanced than what IT is using. It's more like like modern Windows, it seems. Oh, man, the layers. I've thought so many times about what I'd say to you if you, no. if you came back. Don't worry about it. That's not why I'm here. Let's say it. She's being held and drugged against her will. I need the drugs to wear off so I can find out why. You shouldn't be talking like that. It's dangerous. I can't do that. Hmm. So his position has put him in direct conflict with those people too. I'm heading home for the night. Help yourself. Thank you. That white coat has privileges. I'm surprised nobody from judicial came there to let her know, you know, if a specific doctor shows up. Don't let him have access to anything. Does that say lorazepam? That's antipsychotic? <laughs> It's funny because I felt like I'd seen her before, but I, could, but I didn't 
remember that she was uh, the midwife we met in the first episode. This feels like a stealth mission from a video game. And little does he know that he's being monitored every step of the way by uh, the people in the Forbidden Room. No. Nice little character moment. Yeah, I have a feeling your dad's gonna be dead by the end of this episode. Seems like one person dies in every episode almost. It's not a machine we can just switch on and off. So that's it? You won't even try? It's dangerous to try. I could try giving her something to reverse the sedation. Yeah. Why didn't you say that before? Because so it doesn't could, always work. And it could kill her. No details. Depending on what it is and the dosage and everything. They are doing this to her. I'm surprised there's nobody monitoring the nursery. That would be one of the most important places in this entire place, I'm assuming. And even now, you would usually have someone monitoring it constantly. She's having a seizure. Jules, I need your help. Oh, I was wondering when this was going to come back. I thought you weren't supposed to hold someone having a seizure. All right, so how do you access the true place? That's a good hiding spot for that button. Most people would never even notice that. Oh my goodness. So this this whole operation has been here since the very beginning. Oh my goodness. Super modern facility. We've been repurposing cameras from down there for years. The last few we took went to replace the busted ones on 52. They don't know how to make new things. Mr. Are those Check flat screens? For what, we're missing. what is going on here? He works for them. What is she talking about? It was him. He was my doctor. She knew, he knew about he them. He stopped me from having a baby. What? What was in what he gave her? If he works for them, did he poison her? I was told he got it from you. Little George, he's not the one I give it to. I give it to his mother. Maybe Walk was his mother? No. Have you heard of the Flame Keepers? Oh, the Flame Keepers aren't the people in the... In the or, it's what? because they erased us. Okay, the flame pews are people in the room. Then. You one of them? Yes, I oh, was. Oh, okay, so stop giving me whiplash. I lost track of him over the years. How is he? No, oh, he dead. Can I hold it? I mean, she's not her, the, the kid's parent. She can't really give you permission to do that, but sure. Why is there no duty nurse here? <laughs> It's a freaking nursery for crying out loud. There should always be a nurse. No, oh, she's very good with kids. Well, it makes sense. Do you know, I was always really surprised that they let a woman like Hannah Nichols have children. It was because, a flame keeper. because of her dad. He uh, bent the rules. When I heard what had happened to her, it really felt like we'd lost one of our own. Was she sent out to clean? Did she go over the railing? She died in her sleep? A bad cough? What the hell happened? They said this was necessary for long-term survival. To prevent genetic disease from running rampant. But why lie to people? Why give them false hope? Because it's easier Did to you control ever them. think to question that? If you tell a whole bunch of people that you're deliberately keeping them from having children, you're going to have riots. You said she didn't go back to Hildebrand. She, she didn't. Then how the hell do you explain that? I don't know. Find out where they just came from now and stay on them. Sheriff, I can assure you. You know you what? I'm going to escort her back to her room and file a report. <laughs> I would like to know how she managed that, too. Maybe there's someone in the department who's helping her. Can I see it one more time? You about to kill yourself? That's the kind of thing where someone tries to burn a memory into themselves. To take with them to the other side. Sheriff Holston was here. When? I, I don't I don't know. Not long ago, I lose track. He brought flowers and he put them right there. In front of the mirror. Yes. Hmm. He knew he had figured out about the camera. Juliet, don't make it too obvious. Do you remember anything else when he was here? You realize how much you're screwed now. But he wasn't here. He was very lonely. He spent most of his time working on that van. <gasps> the hard drive. Oh, you got to find a way to keep them from seeing. Yeah, how bold are you going to be, Juliet? <laughs> wow. That bold. She's blocked our view. Just trying to listen. 
Thanks, Captain Obvious. The problem is, she knows their cameras. What is it? What did you find? It's in the Raiders. Nah! Shit, you need to get out of there. You need to get out of there. Juliet, you need to go. This is the Holy Grail. You can't be caught with this. I can't stay here. They're gonna be coming. Damn straight, they're gonna be coming. I have to go. What would your mother want you to do? I wish I could ask her, but I can't. No, you can't. But do you know why she killed herself? Gotcha. Juliet, get out of there. I want to know how she got out without you guys knowing she was there. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. You get nothing. That's pretty much going to be like every freaking thumbnail for for the show. It's just me sitting here with a I need to know face. So the plot thickened big time in that episode. So now we know what, that Juliet's mom killed herself. We know that while she may not have been part of this secret organization, the Flame Keepers, she had the mindset that they had, which, you know, makes sense because we knew she was very curious. We knew she was making technology that the pact forbids. I'm guessing that her father basically kind of circumvented. Well, no, but he said he didn't know why they were stopping people from having kids. So maybe, maybe, okay, I, I actually understand now. I think they ought to be rich. They never told him to prevent his wife from having kids because that would jeopardize his cooperation in preventing the other people from having kids. They probably did have her on their radar and she probably wasn't the kind of person that they wanted having children, but they, yeah, they just wanted to keep his cooperation going. I mean, doctors are very valuable in any society, especially one that's apparently fallen like this. So it is essentially a bit of a eugenics thing. They're, they're thinking that they can breed out the kind of curiosity that leads people to question the silo, try to find out about the past and all that stuff. It again circles us back to the question though of who is ultimately behind this? Why do they want people to forget? What are they ultimately trying to do? We got the fact that the people in the janitorial room are using technology that is far in advance of what everyone else is allowed to have, but it appears that that technology was left behind for them, so they don't have the ability to make more. There's also the implication, though we don't have enough evidence to know for sure, that someone in their group might be helping Juliet. Now where we are, Juliet is, the, the power of her position can no longer really protect her, I think. She knows too much. Sims is, is going to have to move aggressively against her, whether he wants to or not. The question is, whether anybody with the cloak of official authority will care enough and be able to help shield her now. It'll probably come down to whether or not the judge has any scruples about what's going on, because obviously she has statutory power that she may be able to bring to bear, and whether Bernard is on her side or not. What exactly is Bernard's ultimate goal? And does he know about... <gasps> Does he know about Sims and, you know, the, the real power behind the silo and all this sort of stuff? Or is he, as he reads purely on the surface, just someone who is just a very much law and order type who just wants to maintain the functioning of the silo but isn't part of the nefarious agencies behind the scenes? Who knows? So now she has to find a way to get that hard drive to someone who can help her understand what's on it. She's made a supposed friend who also is from IT. The question is whether or not that guy is a plant. If he's genuine, then maybe he can help her. Um, Billings seems to be genuine. I'm sure he will try to help her as well. And obviously Walt, depending on whether she is a flame keeper or sympathetic to that, or whether she's secretly somehow working with the same people The Sims is working for, may also be able to help. So obviously she's very good with technology too. Let me know what you guys thought of this episode, what your speculation is uh, at this point. Obviously, if you've seen past here or read the books or whatever, you know, use your spoiler tags and space to talk with other people who've also, you know, who are also further ahead so that you don't spoil me and other tasty morsels. I am going to go right on ahead and get into the next one because uh, my need to know is way more powerful than my need for sleep right now.
So anyway, guys, as always, thanks so much for tuning in. You do your best to stay safe and be well, and I will see you for the next one. Bye bye Find out where they just came from now and stay on them. <laughs> <laughs>